everyone, it's Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today, I'm going to show you my little, <laughs> yeah, we'll do that first. Fourth, uh, oh, not, um, Flag, Day. Flag Day. I almost said Fourth of July. It's not Fourth of July, it's Flag Day. It's June 14. May we wave in peace. There we are. It's, this is my little flag. I was up in up in the side attic. And, oh, I'm looking at myself. The wrong <laughs> thing to do. Oh dear, oh dear. Because I wanted to make sure that the flag was in the frame. Um, I was up. I was up in the side attic because I was looking for some my tooling that I had used for the scrubbies, and I want to show you because Marnie asked from Keto Marnie. The Keto Crocheter, I think, is her name. I'm pretty sure I wrote it down, but then I then I have to go by memory. I didn't bring my notebook in. I have no notebook. But anyways, Marnie asked um, what I used to make the scrubbies, and I will show you what I used. The other one is in there. Okay. I used stuff like this. It's very, 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 very fine. But this isn't the size it comes. It comes this size. But I cut it. I cut it in half. And then when the roll is empty, I take the plastic thing that's on the end. And I pop it on my end. So this looks like it was bought in this way. But it really wasn't. It wasn't bought this way. And this is the stuff that... She was saying, well, we'll hurt your fingers. And as you can see the difference, can you see the difference? And I don't know if they can see it. I have to put me behind it, maybe. The difference in the, in the weave. One is, one is really coarse. This one's real coarse. And this one's real fine. This one's softer, but this still wears on your fingers. Let's see. The, I don't know. Can they see that? Uh, the no yellow idea. is hard to see. Oh, well, maybe I should get a different color. Yeah, let me try a different color, something brighter. You see the holes in this? I know try this red is. One. Try my pink one. This is okay. pink. All right, we'll wind it up a little bit so it's not so. This needs to be cut in half. Okay. The pink is real fine. And the purple is not so fine. It's rough stuff. And if you were to make the scrubby, can I have one of my scrubbies? Here, take this. We are so organized. I need, need ten hands when you only have four. <laughs> but anyways, this is, this is the scrubby made from that rough stuff. And this is a scrubby made from the softer stuff. I didn't make this either. The the girl that gave me this stuff, because she wanted to make scrubbies too, thought I had used something like this, but I didn't. I used a different, um, a softer, a softer material. And this material is Mattel Tool. Oh, Matt. Or Matt Tool. What I can't read. Matt Tool. That's what it says on it. And I bought this at Walmart. Is where I bought it. And I bought the one with the glitter. But you don't want the one with the glitter. Let me show you. This is the one with the glitter. Glitter will be everywhere. I bought I bought a red one with glitter. I thinking I would like it. No. And I bought a yellow one with the or gold. Look how big the gold one is. I really spend on that one. But that one I've been using as ribbons, so it's kind of okay. But it's, the glitter will be everywhere now on me because it's glittery. This hasn't been unwrapped. These two are. I thought at one time I'd bring them back, but I never did. Now it's too late. It's been too many years. So put those in there. And that is that. And I made myself a headband. 
I was watching a video where they were making headbands and I thought, you know, I think I will make that headband. There's a couple more that I have saved in the in my saved section for my like when you click on it and it says save. Or watch later. Yeah, no, it's in the save. So if somebody yeah. went to my my video um Playlist. Play, yes, that's the word. If they went to my playlist, they would see the headbands that I have um, saved to try to make later. So they're in there. They're not by me. They're by somebody else uh, because I haven't I haven't made a video on it. But you can see my, my leave my playlist public um, for the crafting stuff so that you can find it too. If you like what you see, you can find it too. You can go to the playlist and you'll see it. So, I guess, oh, and I forgot to put in, oh dear. I'm going to put a little video in, it's right here. We're going to see what's inside there. Oh, look at them, they're real fluffy. I can't see real well because of the lighting, but yeah, they're really fluffy, wow. Look at you, you're getting all the bird is above me. She's not happy. I went out to see the, the bluebirds, and as you can see, they've got a lot more feathers. Now, it won't be long before they decide to take off because they're getting pretty, pretty full of feathers. Their mother was kind of not happy with me when I was out there. She was flying around, but she wasn't dive bombing me. When they get closer time to, for them to take off, I think that's when she starts to dive bomb. And... Um, they start to worry about their babies a little more. So that is the end of this, what? What about the age thing? What age? Oh, I forgot to tell you. <laughs> yes. Try this out. I forgot about it. Oh, my goodness. I should have brought the notebook in. Yep. And the notebook, and the notebook, I had a little thing that Jim told me. And it was to, to um, add, take the year that you are born. Write that down. Like, I was born 1952. Okay, now take and write, add to that the date of, no, no. no add your to age. that your age. If And pretend that it's December 31st, so whatever age you are this year, you've already had your birthday. Add that to the, to your um, date of birth. Like, I was born 1952, and I'm 68, so I add those two together, and I get 2020. I bet you you'll get 2020 also. It's, a, it's not a trick. You can do it, and you will find that you will add up to that. So no matter what year you're born, and no matter what age you are this year, you have to put, if you haven't had your birthday yet, what age are you going to be? Put that age down and add them together and you'll come up with 2020. So that's the that's it for today. I hope to hear how you made out with your adding of your year that you were born and how old you are at the end of this year. How old will you be? This how old is this year going to make you? Like you say, my birth I'm going to be whatever it is this year. I'm already there, so mine was easy to do. And yours will be easy, too. And your answer, you already know the answer. It's going to be 2020. Well, have a great night, and I'll talk to you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. <laughs>